Hello everyone, I'm Caroline and today I'm going to make a Barbie Christmas tree. Barbie has been in the news a lot lately, you know, she's got a new film out. She's a very desirable young lady at the moment. Everybody wants to watch her film. So I got this Barbie, I'm not sure what she's called, Flyaway Barbie, Fairy Barbie. She's 2011 it says on the back and as you can see I got this for £2.50 from the charity shop or thrift store. So she's going to be my fairy for the top of the tree. Okay, she'll need a little bit of work, but we can sort that out. And I've got this car now. Don't tell Barbie. This is why I've moved her off the table. This is actually a Cindy car. The opposition, you can see there, there's an S. So we're going to do something about that to stop it looking like a Cindy car. And it costs 50p. I'm going to use this car as the base for the Christmas tree. So I'm going to cut these seat belts off. I don't think they add anything and they're in the way a bit. So now we need to do something about these Cindy wheels. We can't be doing with Cindy wheels on a Barbie car. So seeing as this is going to be a flamboyant Christmas tree, I've got some little fluffy pom-poms out with my glue gun, a blob of hot glue and banish Cindy forever. Sorry all you Cindy lovers. When I was younger my sister had a Cindy and I had a Tressie. Did any of you have a Tressie? With Tressie you could pull her hair out and then wound her belly button back up with a key and it all went back into her head and then you could make it short or long. Until one day, as inevitably happened, you turned the key too much, the hair went right inside the head and you'd never get it out again. There. Cindy is banished. Now, you may be wondering what my drill is doing here. I'll show you. I've got this. It was a four foot wide Christmas tree, but I'm only going to use the top two feet. This is going to be standing in the Cindy car between the seats. And you can see it's not going to stand up. It'll keep falling over. So this is why I'm out with the drill and I'm going to drill a hole. I think I'll use my drill block just to be doubly sure. Let's see how easy this happens. I think I'm going to need to do a little bit of work on it. Oh yes, definitely needed my wood block. Now you can see it fits in there and I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue just to stop any wiggling that could be going on. So while that hot glue is cooling, hopefully with the tree still in a completely vertical position, <laughs> we'll find out. I need to deal with poor old Barbie here. She's a bit of a mess. Give her chops a bit of a wipe. Do you call your face your chops? I always grew up with my mum saying, come here, let's wash your chops. So I think the top is going to be okay, but I don't think this bottom is looking very well. She's a bit exposed, isn't she, with all her joint showing. I don't think she's comfortable. So let's make her just a ballet skirt, I think. I've got some tool here, which is brilliant because you don't need to hem this. It doesn't fray. So you can cut it and you're fine. So this is about a foot wide, so folded it's about six inches. I'm going to want lots of this because I want a really ruffled skirt. I've got this ball of crochet thread that I use to bind my books when I'm making journals and things. So I'm going to get lots of this on the needle. Pop Barbie to one side. And then take the humongous bit I cut off. Shall I measure this for you? There's about eight feet of this. And now fold it in half. So do, do what they call a running stitch, which is in and out, in and out, in and out, right the way along. And this is going to take a while. So I'm not going to bore you, silly. I'm just going to get on with it and then turn the camera back on. And this is what you end up with. I did cut two feet off the end because I thought I've really overestimated how much I'm going to need. And when you scrunch it all up, you get this wonderful tutu effect. Bring in Barbie. Pop on her tutu, like that, and then go around the back and tie a knot nice and tight on her waist. Don't worry that you can see her underwear, that will be disappearing very soon. Not that you'll see it anyway, because it will be against the Christmas tree. And now you need to organise her ruffles. So we'll bring some around to the back, put it underneath her wings. Pick your arm up. Come on. You've got to help out a little bit. She's so lazy, Barbie. 
And now look at that. That's much more angelic for the top of the tree. Now you can put something around the edge of this skirt, but because of the way we've sewn it, I don't think you need to. And I prefer it like this. It's just me. So now we need to do something with the hair. Hopefully your Barbie, if you're using one, has got very neat hair. Mine hasn't. The Barbie needs a halo, but it's no good giving her a silver halo because she's Barbie and she doesn't want to be like every other angel. She wants her own individual Barbie style. So I'm going to make one out of pipe cleaners. Then part her hair and glue it to her neck. Then part her hair and glue it to the neck. Then bring her hair back down to hide where it's attached. Oh yes, doesn't she look very angelic now? So I think she's lovely. She's just going to need a bit of wire for when we put her on the tree, which I'm going to put under her skirt, and then she'll be able to be firmly attached. We don't want her falling off and bonking somebody on the head. So let's get on with some decorations to put on the Christmas tree, and I've got a few in mind. Let's have some fun. Go on. For these Barbie decorations, I'm going to be using two colours on every single craft that I'm doing with the glitter foam because I think it's nice to have the contrast. So I'm going to start with the cerise. I've got this heart-shaped punch. If you haven't got heart-shaped punch, all is not lost. Make yourself a little template out of cardboard or find a heart-shaped button, something like that. You can draw around it on the back with a pen or a pencil and then cut it out. It's just a bit slower. I can only just get the glitter foam in. You may have a narrower punch and it won't go in at all, in which case you're back to having to draw around a template. Pop out three hearts. Now fold your hearts with the glitter side together and give them a bit of a push just to help them with the next process in their journey. And then pop a little bit of glue on half of the heart, not on the glitter side. Get another heart and put it over the top there so you know it's straight. And then straight away, in case you've got any glue where you don't want it to be, open up the half of the heart like that. As you can see, I've got a little bit there that would have stuck the heart together. Yeah. I don't want the hangers on these to stand out. So I'm just using some white thread. Make a loop and put a knot in the bottom. In the fold here, put some glue, make sure it's right in the fold and then you can glue your outsides as well. Now get your hanger and put the knot in and get it hidden by the heart. Get your other heart, pop that in and press it together. You've got a hanger already made. And now just to put something on the bottom, I have been using pearls and I've used the last of my pearls up. So this time I'm going to use one of these lovely little beaded berries. So get your pearl or your beaded berry or whatever you're going to use. A fluffy pom-pom will do just as nice a job. A bit of hot glue and on with whatever it is you're using. And as easy as that, you've got yourself a lovely hanging Barbie decoration and then make yourself a few more. As you can see, these ones I have used a little pearl. I think the pearl looks more expensive than the bead, but it's just personal taste. Whatever you fancy, put it on. Right, let's make something else. For this next glamorous Barbie tree decoration, I've got some more hearts. I've got five here, two in one colour, three in another. And this is a lovely simple one to make. Turn your heart over, pop a little blob of glue near the top. Take one of the alternate colour hearts and pop that on just on the point there so you're getting that sort of effect. Now you can do this with all one colour. If you're making these for a tree that isn't a Barbie tree, if you just want a glamorous decoration, you can use all silver, all gold, silver and gold, whatever. And you're going to repeat that for the five hearts. And it is difficult to get them in a line, I find anyway. Whoops, and they keep sticking to you. Look, hot glue gets everywhere. And now to add another thread hanger on the back. And I'm not worrying what the back looks like, but if it bothers you, you can always cover this with something. Blop it on. Aha, I just remembered I got myself another set of finger protectors. I don't know where these go. It's like odd socks, things like that. They seem to just disappear. Now, it's a good idea to let your glue cool before you put this down on your desk because otherwise it could stick to the desk, but I haven't got time. And now using another berry, I would have used a pearl, but I've used them all up. On to the bottom of the decoration. So here I have my collection of dangles. You can see this one with the bead, and I did this one 
you can see that it's slightly different with which bit goes behind which bit. So they are really easy. I think they look absolutely spectacular. And you can also, if you want to, you could add a tassel on the bottom instead of a bead and then they'd hang even longer. You can adjust the size of the hearts depending on what size decoration you want, depending on the size of your tree. I'm using a small tree, so these will be perfect. Don't forget to stay till the end of the video and I'm going to decorate my Barbie tree and show you what it looks like. I can't wait. For this next Barbie Christmas decoration, I've marked this piece of foam or glitter foam at four centimetres by nine and a half. The height is completely dependent on how big you want them. And this distance here is all dependent on the size you want to make it. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to make this by rolling it around my pen. So if you've got something that's wider than a pen, you'll need to make it wider so that it'll roll all the way around the pen and not leave a gap because then you can't stick it to anything. So I'm going to get this wrapped virtually around my pen and then right near the end, pop a line of hot glue. Be careful you don't get it too far around or you will glue it to your pen. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> right now, if you haven't put your glue too far around, this should slide off your pen. Phew, that would have been embarrassing if on camera it had stuck to my pen. Now in whatever colour I'm not using, which is this light pink, I'm going to cut a pretty decoration to go around. So first thing I'm going to do is cut very, very closely to this edge with the pink in shears. You can use these like frilly edge scissors or you can cut it straight. It doesn't really matter. I think it adds a bit more interest if you've used something like this. And then really close, well not too close, about, oh, what should we say, half a centimetre away. Do your best to be straight, but don't worry if it isn't. If it bothers you, then draw a line and do this on the back and follow the line. And then what I like to do, just before I start sticking these, I'll show you. You just make sure, run a scissors along and sometimes there's a little edge sticking up. Now using hot glue, I'm going to put this on as a decoration. Cut that at an angle. And I'm getting hot glue everywhere again. And come down, following that angle, round and around and around. So you get to the bottom end. You don't need to glue every single centimetre of this. You can leave a little gap, but don't leave too much of a saga. We can't be doing with saggy decorations. Come round to the bottom and then snip it off. And then you'll probably need a little bit of glue on the edge there to make sure it fits in nicely. Or sticks on nicely rather than fits in. Like that. And now I've got this tub that a viewer gave me and it's full of little bits and pieces and one of the things are these little pegs. So about here and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. Open my peg because these have been painted and some of them are glued tightly shut and then pop the peg carefully into the glue and hold it till it cools. Don't try doing anything until it has completely cooled otherwise it'll just fall off. But now we need to do something at the top. And for me, I'm going to use something that came out of the same pot. Oh, there's me saying I've run out of pearls and I've got a whole pot of pearls here. I forgot these were in here. Right, so I need one of these little floral bits and a little pom-pom, I think. So a little run of glue around the top. On with my petals, more glue, and on with my little sparkly pom-pom. And look at that. Isn't that cute? The back isn't so cute. But that is lovely. And of course, I made more. So I got the light with dark, got the darks with lights. And, ah, just noticed I didn't put different colour pom-poms on the top. Oh, well, this one can be individual. It can stand out. You can say, hey, I'm different. Look at me. Oh, this is exciting. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget, we're decorating the tree at the end. So don't rush off. You want to see what these look like on the tree. Right, let's try making something else. So for this Barbie Christmas decoration, I've cut myself a piece of glitter foam. Four centimetres by six centimetres. Out with my pen. You can tell I've glued things to this pen. Look, there's still some glue on it. <laughs> there, pull that off. Nobody knows. So now before I start rolling... I'm going to put my run of hot glue down there just because it'll be starting to cool before I get there and I'm less likely to need my finger protectors. And then roll this up and push it into place. And let's try the pull off the pen test. Ta-da! Ooh! Aha! Just realised I've used the wrong size pen. Got 
two here and this doesn't look much bigger but i've got all this excess but that doesn't matter we're going to ignore that you're far too polite to point that out to me so this is six centimeters high and this is eight centimeters high fold it in half that way not that way that way and now imagine when you were in school and you made paper lanterns so cut yourself some nice thin lines quite close to the edge but not too close otherwise you'll go too far and chop it off if you're really brave you can make these really fine i don't like to make them really fine i'm not that brave i'll end up cutting some of them off so about there is where i feel safe they do look nicer though they got more flow if you cut them really thin put a run of hot glue all the way around the top edge or the bottom edge it doesn't make any difference and then joining at the back you want to put your piece of glitter foam in line with the top like that hmm, i've just decided i'm not going to glue this on there i'm going to take it off while it's still warm and show you a really clever way of doing this because i've made some so that i want to show you when i did mean to show you this one a little bit posher so add your hot glue on again <laughs> if you already put it together like me if you're following step by step and think what's she up to now i want to try that and then just come around about a centimeter and start joining it on then and stick on all the way around now it looks a bit of a mess because it's squashed don't worry we've got to sort that any minute now but i don't want to do anything until this hot glue is cool so while that's half cooled i'm going to put it up there in all its non-glory using the darker color while that is cooling i'm going to come along and cut myself a one centimeter strip off this a generous one centimeter now this is fiddly i'm not going to be able to do this first bit with finger protector so give it a little blow so that it's much cooler but not completely cool and then you can make sure you've got a nice tight curl there and then when you have you can come along using some hot glue and make yourself a roll and keep checking your roll until it'll cover the top of your decoration so i need a little bit more i think and now this should be cool so i'm going to turn all these little fluffy bits out so they're facing the way they should be instead of looking like a right knot and you've got yourself this curly lantern effect and now cover the top of your bauble with hot glue and on with the top and while i'm waiting for this to dry i'll tell you how i've been doing this before when i start that initial roll i put the hanger in there so it's already in the top of the bauble but for this one I realise I've got those extra pearls, so I'm going to use one of those. I think they're very nice when they're used on a hanger, and I'll show you how. Get yourself your little pearl or your bead or whatever you're using, and some needle and thread. Thread up, poke it back through the bottom, but don't pull it all the way, otherwise it'll just pop straight back out again. Tie yourself a knot down the bottom, snip it off, watch your bead doesn't fall off the top. Pop on some hot glue right in the centre and then pop that on the top there. And then on the bottom you can decorate it how you like. I'm going to put another one of those pestle things on. And because I like the look on it, I'm going to stick another pom-pom in too. Like that. Right away. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of tinsel around this join to make it look a little bit better. Because it's not the best join I've ever made in my life like that and i've flattened all my bits again and here are some variations i made i cut this one a bit narrower and i turned this as you can see there that's much more curvy than the one i just made so you can just curve these as much as you like you can make them straight it's whatever you fancy and i put this little bit of a fringe on which was made by i'll just show you on this piece here just cut yourself some very thin lines almost to the top like that then roll it around and then the more you cut the more tassels you'll get you see the idea this is the one i just made this one is exactly the same theme but 
it's got a little paper ball either end and then this one has just got some pink berries on the bottom to make that more interesting don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this video because i've got a few more things to make now i want lots more videos coming up and you don't want to miss any of them the new year's coming what on earth are we going to make in the new year i've got some plans i think you'll enjoy them right back to crafting for this glamorous Barbie Christmas craft, I've got another little tube I've made, and this is only three centimetres long. I've got myself a piece of six centimetre foam, and I'm just going to check how much I need of this to go around. Same sort of principle as on the last decoration. About there-ish. Draw a line and cut out the size you've got. I now fold it in half again like that. And now we're going to do some thick chomps. Much faster. And now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to have a different result. Glue that in place. But you'll notice there's a substantial amount hanging off the end, and that is all part of the plan. Fold back the other end. Another run of hot glue. Now, I know it still looks like it's going to be exactly the same as the last one, but it's not. Pull that out. Uh, got some glue on that bit. Try not to do that. Set that down to cool and then out with the heart shape pinch again. And now using the lighter pink, cut two out. Pick the ugly bits to go on the bottom and then you're going to be gluing a heart on either side like that or a flower, or some beads, or whatever you fancy, a pom-pom, a snowflake, a bee for Barbie. And because of where I attach the hanger, I do like to try, and I'm a little bit liberal with where my bottom comes, because then I try to get this one facing straight up, or one of the little legs facing straight up, so that it hangs straighter. And do the same on the other side. Using some thread, poke it through the top loop, which is much easier if your hands are not covered in hot glue. And then tie a knot and snip it off. And there you've got like a cartwheel decoration. Very pretty and very easy. As soon as you've got the hang of this, just cutting slits and things and gluing them to things, it's amazing what you can come up with. So I've made a few of these, as you can see. And they're going to go on the Barbie tree at the end of the video too. Right, let's try something else. For this glamorous Barbie Christmas decoration, I've got this piece of card. It's supposed to be lollipop shaped. I know, it's not really as well lollipop shaped as it could be, but it'll do. I'm going to glue this to the piece of glitter foam. So put the glue on the cardboard rather than on the foam. Pop it into place and then cut around. And then I'd like to come along and trim the inside bit of the cardboard because corrugated cardboard never really cuts a clean edge. Now I'm covering the outsides with some hot glue and bring in a pipe cleaner all the way around, making sure you give it a good push because you want it to be really firmly attached because pipe cleaners have got a mind of their own because they've got that little bit of wire in. If there's a little bend in or kink in the wire, it'll pop away. Then form a bow from the little bit of pipe cleaner you've got left, or a different one if you haven't got any left, and pop that on just to decorate this furry ice cream, or lollipop, or popsicle, whatever you call it. I'm not sure I'd want a furry popsicle, but I'm sure Barbie would love one. Get yourself a lollipop stick that you've painted, and then pop a little bit of glue on the back, and pop this onto the back of your lollipop central as you can get it but make sure you've got a nice long leg i'm doing that because i want to be able to poke this into the tree and it'll hold in place and of course i've made a selection and you can put different things on the front this one's got little pom-poms on lots of bits of hot glue this one's got another one of those hearts which will tie the theme of the tree together this one's got little off cuts of ribbon that i had left after i had put them on the edge of these lollipops you can do anything you like Unfortunately, I was running out of ribbon there, so I just bodged it together. But I don't think you'll notice when it's on the tree and in the distance. And if you wiggle it quickly, look at that. All the problems have disappeared. We're getting closer to seeing the decorated tree. Let's check out the next craft. 
This piece of glitter foam just happens to be four centimeters by 19 centimeters. You can just fiddle about with the size until you get something you think will look good as a bow. I think that's going to be a nice size. Fold your piece of foam in half, cut yourself an oval shape, and then get yourself some hot glue, blob in there, fold the glitter foam back over so the glitter's outside, and bring the ends in and glue them like that. When you cut in these, always make sure the little open end is narrower than the folded end. And that way then they'll fold nicely and you won't have any overlapping bits sticking out on the front of your bow. So there you've got the basis for a bow. Now you can do a few things here. You can put a ribbon on, you can tie a ribbon on. I'm going to use some more foam glitter. So I'm going to cut up the edges of this with my pink and shears. Put it down, put this on the middle. A bit more hot glue and bring it around. And if it's a bit too long, just give it a snip. And now to continue the theme, I'm going to make a heart and glue it onto the front of the bow. And of course, I've got a selection here that I've made and they're all slightly different. They're different sizes. And if I show you this one, all I did was cut a little V shape out of the end of each part of the bow to make it a little bit more interesting. And this one, I haven't put anything on. I've left this simple so it looks more like a dicky bow. You've got a nice selection there and you can just let your imagination run riot. Now, if I didn't explain myself properly and you find that you've got the bottom of your bow is sticking out further than the top, I think this is the closest I got to that happening, then you just come along and just very carefully take a sliver off like that so that you hide in the back of the bow. Oops. And I even made a little tiny cute one. Right, the time has arrived. I'm going to decorate the tree and then we'll have a look, see what it looks like with Barbie and all her glamorous decorations on top of the tree. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's see what it looks like. If you've enjoyed watching my glam Barbie Christmas decorations, go on the glamorous Barbie Christmas tree, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. It's really important so that you get to see the rest of my videos that come out and you don't miss any of them. I'll see you all next time, but until then, don't forget, happy crafting and have fun. Bye!